What's up, everybody? Uh, I figured I'd do a trade recap. I tried to record live, but I was having some data issues earlier. And it would just been annoying the whole time on a video. You just you hear Ivy telling you that uh, data was disconnected. So, uh, so I traded Meta, made $81, only two contracts. And we'll go over that here in a second. I traded Amazon. And Amazon, I would have probably would have did a little better, but I accidentally chose a strike that was three weeks out uh, by accident. Made $33 on it. <coughs> so on Meta. got in right up in here actually yeah on this candle and then when this green candle popped I got on a second one right there so I've been kind of cha uh, changing my trading style a little bit and even doing some uh, paper trading just because my old style is way more aggressive and I would have bought this down here trying to get into this support and add it until I got into it. But I find that's not, that's what we call fading it, right? Fading the market. And, uh, you know, in this situation on Amazon, it would have worked. Or shorten something like this on Meta. But I just don't find it's effective. And so I've just been letting the, the morning kind of develop some data. Now, I got my idea of what I'm expecting the stock to do due to the higher time frames and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm kind of more waiting for what I want and being way more selective and keeping my risk, which this red line right here on Meta was my risk. So as you can see, I got in right here and it never went below it. And I sold on this candle as it was coming in right here. And on... Um, Let's see. So, again, normally I would have bought into this support right here. But I bought, I waited for it to tell me it was going to hold. And I got in. And, uh, yeah, so a couple of new things that's going to be going on. My five-minute charts, I, I do not have. Uh, and I'm, I kind of scrolled in between the higher time frames looking at market structure but I got I got the uh, I got the after and pre-market data on but I don't have the sessions where it, it looks like uh, this you know so and this red line right here is an automatic plot of pre-market high and green lines are going to be pre-market lows and these lines are previous close uh, same thing, spy and cues. Also, been looking at trading more more tech name stocks uh, lately, just because they seem to be a little bit more fluid on, on more technical setups than like it's back and forth here on spy, right? I mean, some of that's just kind of brutal, just sitting through, you know. So, anyway. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, kind of changing my trading style up a little bit. And uh, paper trading, I don't think there's anything wrong with paper trading. If you're changing some things up, you know, I, you know, they have other people that can code, you know, your, your strategy. And they, they, can, they can do back testing that way and they can pull up all this time of data of how that strategy will work. But that's a computer doing it. You know, you, paper trading, you, you're, you're trading your own... You know, you're trading how you would trade. I mean, if you're doing it the right way. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty good trades today. Um, killer short. But uh, I was out eating with my wife during this time. And sitting through this, waiting for what you wanted would have been kind of brutal, right? I'm going to start trying to plug out some live videos. I'm... I need to update some of my equipment and stuff as far as my, my, my computers and my real estate screen. Also, I just got NASDAQ Total View with um, 
Interactive Brokers. It's a level three. It's what they call level three. Let's see if I can find it. You know, there's Book Trader right here. We've got NASDAQ Total View. So you can see more of uh, orders and in depth of what's going on in the market. So I'm going to start looking at that, see if I can, you know, get used to looking at it or whatever. So uh, I think that's going to be killer. So. So if you see me switching back and forth, kind of looking at that, that's what I'm doing. I may change my layout here a little bit. We'll see. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, if you like the trades, please like. Um, if you don't, comment. Or if you would have did something a little better, let me know. Uh, thank you for watching.